गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज द ग्रेट अपराइजिंग ऑफ एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन मीन्स दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द रिवोल्ट ऑफ एटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी ऑल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हाउ द ब्रिटिशर्स एंड वट वॉज देयर पॉलिसीज आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द रिवोल्ट ऑफ द एटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेवन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नो दैट just you know that and we also know that about that when the britishers come to india they especially come to india as a trader but gradually with the time they become as a ruler in previous chapter we learned about that how the political economical and social policies of the british government in india led the growing of discontent and anger among many indians yes no doubt the britishers are introduced so many economical reforms so many political reforms and they also disturb our social and internal matter and these all things are the causes of the revolt of 1857 especially in this chapter we all are discuss about that which which economical causes are responsible for the revolt of 1857 again that political causes and after that social and religious causes let us see first of all we all are discuss that uh, what was the causes of the revolt of 1857 <clears throat> there was many causes of for revolt of 1857 this can be grouped as economic political and social religious and military causes first of all economic causes if you see that the britishers often forced indian to produce cash crops like cotton jute and indigo in place of food crops yes before the britishers the indian farmers are free the indians farmers were free that they produce any things like any food crops wheat rice barley etc but after the coming of the britishers they forced to the indians only produce the cash crops like cotton jute and indigo what the result is that many food crops and many important crops those are growing before the britishers is sought out from the country and on the place of food crops jute cotton and indigo production is going on and this cotton jute and indigo crops taking more time more efforts so this is the farmer and the patients they all are disturbed the policy those who are introduced by the economical reforms into the field of agriculture after that these were used as cash cheap raw materials by the british to produce finished good in england aur bahut hi saste daam par in crops ko kisano se angrez kharid kar england transfer kar rahe the the british then sold these goods at a lower price in india jiska qeemat bharat mein angrez bahut kam dete the such policies of the british ruined indian agriculture and led the famine अंग्रेजों की इस पॉलिसी से भारत की एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर धीरे धीरे बर्बाद होता चला गया और भारत में फैमिन स्टार्ट हो गया अकाल स्टार्ट हो गया एक तरह से भूखमरी स्टार्ट हो गया इट आल्सो रिन द इंडस्ट्रीज द स्मॉल स्केस इंडस्ट्रीज दो आर बिफोर द ब्रिटिशर्स गोइंग ऑन इन इंडिया दिज ऑल इंडस्ट्रीज आर रिन एंड रिजल्टिंग इन मास अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड पोवर्टी जिसका नतीजा क्या हुआ देश में गरीबी भूखमरी और बेरोजगारी बढ़ती चली गई सो द इकोनॉमिकल कॉजेज इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर बिहाइंड द रिवोल्ट ऑफ 1857। आफ्टर दैट पॉलिटिकल कॉजेज यस सो मेनी पॉलिटिकल इश्यूज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द रिवोल्ट ऑफ 1857। मेनी इंडियन रूलर्स लॉस देयर टेरिटरीज आफ्टर द ब्रिटिश कंक्वेस्ट ऑफ इंडिया पॉलिसी लाइक सब्सिडरी अलाइंस एंड डॉक्टर कॉजेस रिट्रीटमेंट एंड increasingly sorry insecurity among the affected ruler yes the british has come to india introduced the doctor and aflaf especially lord dalhousie introduced the doctor and aflaf through this policy the ruler cannot adopt any child and they cannot transfer their kingdom to adopted child lord dalhousie ban on doctor and aflaf through this policy no one can adopt the child and not he can transfer the kingdom to adopted child so this policy 
the policy of doctrine of left disturbed the political system of the india many states like satara nagpur jhansi sambal these are on annex through the policy of doctrine of left and through the subsidiary alliance also so many states annexed by the britishers through the doctrine of left so many states and so many part of india annexed by the britishers so this is also very important causes for the political causes of the revolt of 1857 after that the british also refused the pension of <coughs> nana saab nana saab was the adopted son of peshwa bajirao second after the death of bajirao second nana saab adopted child not paying the pension by the britishers so nana saab also against the british government and he also took part into the revolt of 1857 he led the attack on कानपुर कानपुर से नाना साहब अंग्रेजों के खिलाफ रिवोल्ट ऑफ एटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेवन में लड़ाई लड़े थे क्योंकि नाना साहब की पेंशन अंग्रेजों ने बंद कर दिया था डॉक्टराइन ऑफ लैब्स के थ्रू अंग्रेजों ने कई सारे राज्यों को अनेक्श कर लिया सब्सिडी अलायंस के थ्रू हैदराबाद और भी कई सारे प्रेसिडेंसी को कई सारे राज्यों को अंग्रेजों ने अनेक्स कर लिया तो दिस सारे के सारे पोलिटिकल कॉजेज थे रानी लक्ष्मीबाई वाज फॉर्मस वेन द ब्रिटिशर्स अनेक्स झांसी अंडर डल हाउसी पॉलिसीज ऑफ डॉक्टराइन ऑफ लैब्स यस झांसी की रानी लक्ष्मीबाई उनके भी स्टेट झांसी को अंग्रेजों ने डॉक्टर एन एफ लैब्स के थ्रू अनेक्स कर लिया था सो अदर रूलर्स लाइक बेगम हजरत महल आल्सो नोन एज बेगम अवध बेगम ऑफ अवध वेर आल्सो अपसेट विद द ब्रिटिश एंड टुक एन एक्टिव पार्ट इन द म्यूटनी इस सारे पॉलिटिकल कॉजेज एक बहुत बड़े रीजन बने रिवोल्ट ऑफ एटीन के लिए सो इकोनॉमिकल काजेज पोलिटिकल काजेज एंड द डॉक्टर एन एफ लैब सब्सिडी अलाउंस दीज ऑल आर द काजेज फॉर द रिवोल्ट ऑफ एटीन next socio and religious causes <coughs> the britishers introduce measures for the legislations of widow remarriage yes this is good work the abolition of sati and the improvement of women's education they also brought in laws that banned child marriage but the conservative sections of indian society felt that a foreigner <coughs> foreign government had no right to interfere in or reform the religious and the social custom of india yes the social changes and social reforms some social reforms and changes is very important and very good for the indian society like that child marriage stop the ban on child marriage ban on sati pratha lord william banting with radha ram mohan rai in 1829 lord william banting ban on sati pratha these all are the important and <coughs> sorry good work but but the indian conservative session consider about that this changes is not done by any foreigner government they consider the indian consider they want to change indian society into the christianity so social and religious reforms also very important causes for the revolt of 1857 after that some important writer like that conservative section also view the works of missionaries like william carey with suspicions they believe that the social work carried out by the missionaries was actually means to spread christianity in india many of the indians consider that the social and religious changes may be convert the indian society into the christianity so many of them against the british policies and ruled after that military causes this is a very important causes and it is also known as the immediate causes of the revolt of 1857 now we discuss on next topic so dear students please one time see that the great uprising of 1857 what was the economical causes what was the political causes and what was the social and religious causes in next topic in next lecture we again explain about that military causes so today we all are discuss about that what was the economical causes especially the economical causes or the ruin the agriculture and industry of the indian society they also improve impose heavy tax on the indian goods and the raw material transfer by the britishers from india to england okay so these all are the important economical causes and then after political causes through the doctrine of lapse through the subsidiary alliance the police through the doctrine of lust the indian states cannot be adopted any other child and transfer their kingdom so this is also the very important causes for the revolt of 1857 and after that finally social and religious causes so many social changes like that ban on sati pratha ban on child marriage and these other 
type of the social reform also create a doubt among the indian they felt that the foreigner want to convert him in a christianity so these all are the major causes for the revolt of 1857 tomorrow we again discuss of military causes thank you